Well, what's up, gentlemen? All right, so uh, I did uh, a video when I did this service, I don't know, a year or two ago. Uh, I think the video was called Fat Guy Bending Pipe. <laughs> anyway, so I did the service uh, about a year ago. They have a coach house here, which was uh, fed overhead to over there, and then there's a panel right there, but that's illegal as fuck. So what I did was, uh, you know, ran the pipe all the way through. <laughs> right there and then offset that these junker pipes those are from the hvac guys some other before i ever even got here anyway uh so i put in a clean service and you know i told the guy i said this is the start you know the right it's not going to fix everything in your building so this is a year or two later um this this was so fucked down here there was so the second floor panel only had two circuits on it, okay? And uh, one of those was dead. So the whole second floor was in the network of pipes for the first floor. Anyway, so just figuring, and there was there was all that. <laughs> but anyway, um, so it, this old cloth wire, none of that was down here. That was all in the units, but this shit was feeding it. So somebody had been in here, but it was... Oh, God, this light's on for some reason. No, yeah, I don't know. I'll leave it on. Anyway, it's kind of bright. Anyway, so... Uh, so, yeah, they fed the old shit with new wire. Like, it, it was just all backwards. The first floor shit was on the second floor shit. And then you got this coach house, which we just ripped all that shit out, gave them their own panel in there. We did that last time. Anyway, so then while we were down here, you know, you dedicate the sump pump and dedicate a bunch of stuff, uh, and you just find that, start finding out where all these feeds are going. Um, so anyway, uh, there was a buried junction box up there, <laughs> you know, with a bunch of old cloth wire and fucking MC and whips and shit. Anyway, so we just refed it all. Uh, repiped it. It took, we've been on this job. It's a two flat. We've been on this job for today's Friday. We started Monday. Anyway, uh, I also, uh, this was all hacked in back here. So this operates four lights over there. And then this switch operates these, these four lights. Anyway, so new networks of pipes feeding all the branch circuitry like this. Right here ended up going up to the first floor. So there it is. This run right here is all first floor because I ended up running all the way over to here. Coming up there. And that goes up. Anyway, and then this is common. So now uh, they didn't even have a common panel before. So. Uh, they had no common common pipes, you know. So all the common shit, like there's a front hallway and there's a rear hallway that are common areas that has to be on the common panel. And then I also, I gave this guy some quads up here. I said, do you want me to put them on the walls? He said, no, just put them there for when he's working down here. So there's, I went, there's eight lights, but I alternated. I went on his outlets. I went one outlet here, outlet over there, outlet over here. You know, a quad. This guy's like kind of a handyman or some shit. I don't know. And then another quad over there. So I alternated. I zigzagged. So now all of this basement stuff is also on the common floor panel. Um, all right. I'm not going to walk into this unit um, too much because the cleaning lady just came. Um, all these three ways. So now that's another thing. All the lights... Uh, are three-wayed correctly. There's a three-way going for this light. All right, let's see what, what we did here. Okay, for this light and the light downstairs, so there's a switch here at the rear entry, and then there's one at the basement. Then there's a three-way from here to upstairs for these lights here. Uh, this stuff is all um, pulled in new wire. There's one feed I haven't found yet. The old cloth wire there. But we're figuring it out. Anyway, all of that is done. It's all brand new wire. I pulled um, eight networks, which are, uh, no, four networks, which is eight circuits. A network is a hot, 
on this. It's a single phase. It's a hot. Two hots and a neutral. That's a no. Anyway. So then we got to the second floor. And we're like, oh, there's not that much stuff up there. It'll be a lot easier. Anyway, some college girls live up here. So, as you notice, there's no... Uh, well, there isn't that because I just pulled it. But there's no wire in all these. So... First thing I'm going to do is start ripping out all the all the existing and pulling in new. You know, it's 90% of this place is in pipes. That goes all the way to my panel. And then it just gets fed throughout. Um, we did, the problems we ran into here were, so this furnace obviously isn't original to this house. So when they put it in, they buried a damn junction box. They put a false ceiling in this closet. Yep, that's got to go. And look what they did. But to pull out the old wire, that's what we had to do. So uh, we're still going to get rid of this flex pipe, all that shit in. But we had to to pull new wire. We had to cut this open to get to that junction box. So all of this is already pulled. And then, you know, something else. Look. Okay, so that ceiling is that height. And that one's that height. And I'm like, son of a bitch. So another one up in there. I Yep, you see it right there. Another buried junction box. So what he's going to have to do is put an access right here. Um, you know, I don't do drywall patches. I just made a hole and that's it. Now you have a new wire. So anyway, but the rest of this stuff was okay, I guess. Not too, too bad. So it's all brand new wire, obviously. Uh, this is a rental, so these are college girls. I don't know. Kind of, uh, kind of pigs. Anyway, so then you got, hey, what do you got to say to the world there, Daryl? Splicing outlets. Splicing outlets. Daryl's coming a long way. He's got some bad fucking habits, but he, he's getting there. That outlet's crooked. Bring, hey, bring my torpedo level with you, and everyone you fucking put in, make sure it's straight before you walk away from it. Uh, anyway, so we did run into a problem in here. This room, bedroom, it's now a rental. This used to just be one, uh, living room, right? But they cut it in half and made another bedroom. You can charge more for rent. And this shit, there was a ton of BX cable in and whatever. So we kind of got fucked. Um, there was a combination, the existing raceway. First, second, yeah, yeah, it was all fucked up. So we did have to do a little more uh, cutting here. But now all of this is done too. So, I mean, the drywall in here, I didn't measure out and take my time. And he's got to find an access panel and, and then he can do that work. That false seal in the closet, I'm not, he's going to have to figure that out. But where I can, I, you know, I, I mean, I try to be as neat as I can. So the guy behind me that's got to patch this shit, um, can do it. So anyway, this pipe, I couldn't pull from a box that's on the other side of this wall to a box that's on the other side of that wall. Cause they used, it's right in there. They used goddamn flax again, you know? So I did have to just so all of my piping is, uh, you know, my network of piping is all connected. You know, I had to connect it there because you could not pull that old shit out. And it was like, everything else is pulled out. We got to make it go there. And this is this was the only way to do it. So, anyway, but he'll be able to fix that. Um, and I don't care if you're pulling Romex. You would have had to notch it. There's no way to go from A to B. So, you know, we use pipe, but even if you used Romex, you would have had to... You know, you would have had to do this, but you would have had to run a shitload of Romex because there's about there's about six wires in that fucking pipe. <laughs> you know what I mean? So again, pipe's better. So that's uh, that's kind of where we're at. Um, kind of sucks. I I fucking hate working in residential, especially when people live there. You know, you're moving furniture and shit. Like, you know. Uh, you know, there's shit everywhere, and you got to move it, but I told him, he's like, well, how much do you think? And I was like, well, I don't know what's in there, and here's how much an hour. Here's a ballpark, but I can't promise yet, and that's the way it is. Uh, you lock yourself into a number on, on something like this, 
and you know, it has the capacity to really bite you in the ass and you're working for free. So anyway, um, that's uh, what's going on here. We'll be back next week. There's going to be more shit to clean up. We have, uh, we've rewired the whole building. It's, it's rewired after the end of today, but he also wants to add some things, uh, some, some outlets here and there. And I said, well, first we're going to fix existing, then we'll get into whatever you want to add. The front of the building, there was a sconce there. I would, if I wanted to walk outside, I'd show you. And you know, fuck it, I'll show you. You guys are going to laugh at this. So, <clears throat> this is front of this building, right? The guy bought this building. And, uh, you know, whatever. There's some... There's some coach lights out here, right? That have been here for a while. Um, there's no boxes behind them. <laughs> they just bought lights and hung them there. There's no wires going to those lights. So, yeah, yeah that, that, I, you know, I've seen that before though. Like, hey, this outlet doesn't work. Can you go to take it apart? And they just screwed an outlet into the fucking drywall and put a cover on it, you know? So anyway, um, yeah, but, uh, yeah, typical Chicago neighborhood, you know? They tear them down and build new, you know. So, all right. Happy Friday. Um, glad it's not cold anymore. <laughs> Hope everybody uh, made it through that okay. And uh, comment, rate, subscribe if you want to.